Well, the regulations are in the process of being drafted and there has been extens extensive discussion as to which medicines uh, pharmacists will be able to prescribe and which will not. The first point to make is that the medicines that pharmacists will be able to prescribe will be set out in the secondary legislation and as we all know to prescribe without a pre to prescribe medicines uh, without a prescription is already a criminal offence and the regulations will set out clearly what medicines are able to be prescribed and that of course will depend on the training that the pharmacist receives. And the third important point to make is that if one attends the pharmacist to be able to determine determine whether it's a medicine that ought to be prescribed in the circumstances and the pharmacist is accredited by the General Pharmaceutical Council to be able to prescribe uh, medicines, the a person who attends the pharmacist will have to pay the full commercial rate for that medicine because it will not be covered by the group practice medical scheme. In other words, it will not form part of the system for which taxpayers essentially pay. So to be clear, if I came to the primary care centre or to St Bernard's to see a, a GHA doctor and he or she prescribed uh, a medicine to me, if I went to the pharmacy that's heavily subsidised by the taxes that I've already paid, but, but this is different. That is, exa that is exactly correct. If you attend uh, any pharmacist with a GPMS prescription, you pay £2.50 per item, up to a total of £7.50. So clearly it is a heavily subsidised prescri prescription system by the taxpayer. But for uh, patients who, for whatever reasons, on that particular day, professional or personal, uh, do not have the time to attend the PCC or do not have the time to attend a private uh, clinic, may choose instead to go to a pharmacy who may be able to deal with that patient in a quicker way but the patient needs to be fully aware that they will have to pay the full commercial rate for that particular medicine. So will all pharmacists be uh, able to prescribe if they undergo the correct training? Currently, of course, I'm not certain whether any individual pharmacist has already undertaken an accredited course but before the GHA and in particular the relevant board uh, permits any pharmacist to prescribe uh, drugs, they will have to show proof that they have undergone the accredited course by the uh, General Pharmaceutical Council. And no other pharmacist who's not so accredited will be able to prescribe medicines. For anybody who's concerned that there might be uh, abuse of this scheme, can you tell us who will be deciding which medicines are covered and which aren't? The first point to make here, of course, is that the medicines that will be allowed to be prescribed by a pharmacist will be clearly set out in legislation. So the pharmacist, the patients, will know which medicines can be prescribed and which cannot. And as I said already, if a pharmacist were to prescribe medication without the ability to do so, it will be a criminal conviction. So we're very satisfied that the law will ensure that there should be no rogue pharmacists. And if they do uh, attend to to any action which is out with the law, then of course they risk enforcement uh, penalties uh, against them. We have had a discussion as to what level of medicine and what type of medicine a pharmacist should be able to prescribe, and we are already very much of the view, subject to further discussion uh, internally and with pharmacists, that pharmacists should not be able to prescribe controlled drugs. Such as? For example, Valium. Tell us what's the thinking behind this. Well, Jonathan, you will have heard me say many, many times already that much of my thinking is dedicated towards relieving pressure off a and &E and off uh, the PCC. And we think that pharmacists being able to prescribe certain medicines will be able to relieve some of the pressure at the a and &E and the PCC and will be a wonderful supplement to the services that the GHA already provides. Obviously, you've already spoken to the pharmacists in Gibraltar and they're on board for this scheme. Well, in, in fairness, this idea came from one particular pharmacist who, who put to me this very idea.